In today's video, we'll be notching the block, installing the block guard, and honing the cylinders. Let's get started. Basically, we're just gonna be notching in here to make clearance for the rods. Now, I don't have the bearings yet, so I can't um, put the crank in and tighten the connecting rods down to see exactly where it's hitting, but I've done this enough times to know about where it will be hitting. Using a carbide bit like this um, and just a cordless drill, I'll probably have to get out the corded drill. Um, we're gonna basically just go ahead and notch out the area. Now, I recommend a carbide bit if you can afford one or find one. Uh, they're really good compared to the Dremel cutting stones. So it's kind of cold out right now, so I'm gonna try to get this done. So I'm just gonna get straight into it, guys. So cylinder number four is notched along with the main girdle, notched pretty decent. Uh, we won't really know 100% until the rods go in fully assembled, um, but that, that should be more than enough clearance. I don't even think I did that much on my EF hatch uh, when I did the Viterra build on there. So it should be more than plenty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other ones. The battery's getting low on this, so I'm just gonna do them off camera and then we'll come back to it as soon as they're done. All right, so the main girdle is notched in every spot where it would hit. And I took off more than enough on each cylinder wall um, and notched it pretty deep. So there should be no uh, clearance issues. If there is, we'll have to take it, everything back out, notch it a little bit, but I don't think there will be. But uh, yeah, now, as you can see, there's a ton of metal shavings in here. We do not want any of that in here um, when oils ran through it because it can cause some bearing damage and engine failure and we're trying to keep it from failing so i'm going to pressure wash this thing multiple times um, flipping it over cleaning every spot possible so i want to pressure wash this and then once this is done then we can go over the rest and clean 
no metal shavings left I don't feel anything with my fingers so it looks pretty good I did the main girdle as well and everything's looking good so we're gonna take this back into the back get it all dried up put some uh, lube on the cylinder walls that way it don't rust and then we'll go from there so here it is block is all notched as you can see everything looks pretty good it's nice and clean no metal shavings main girdles notched looking good there too so next step I'm just going to be using some WD-40 um, just spraying it in the cylinder walls just like that that way it doesn't rust if moisture comes into contact with it um, so I'll flip this over real quick sprayed the WD-40 on the top half too and went around with my fingers like this and uh, basically just made sure that the WD-40 gets down in there now that will keep them from rusting. Uh, we should be good to go, but uh, gotta get the block guard in, then hone it, and then we'll go from there. So before we can hone these cylinders, we're first gonna have to install the block guard. Now, the block guard's pretty simple to install. You basically just line it up like that with the uh, coolant ports, and then you'll tap it in. There you have it, it's pretty simple to install. Now you don't wanna to go too far, obviously you won't be able to, it only goes down so far, uh, but you don't want it flush. I've just never had it flush, maybe you can, I don't know, but I like to be safe and go down a little bit. Now that this is in, we can go ahead and start the honing process. I went to O'Reilly's and you can actually rent these, which was like 20 something dollars, and these have stones. Now I like to take motor oil or WD-40, Soak the stones. I prefer the dingleberry hone um, or flex hone, if you will. Uh, they have little balls on the end of them. I prefer that style. But this is what we have, so this is what we're working with. Um, basically, you're just going to spray each cylinder down, get a lot of oil or WD 40. I'm just using WD-40 because it works. Um, now we'll basically just push, push it in like this and we'll start the drill up and basically just going up and down, not making sure not to go way too far. Um, just kind of up and down motion. You're gonna have to find a sweet spot. That way we can uh, knock the glaze off the cylinders. Now you can actually adjust the tension on this with this little spring right here. Um, I think we have it tensioned out pretty decent right now where it's at. So we're just gonna keep going. All right, cylinder four looks really good. So we're basically just gonna keep moving on until all of them look like that. There it is. They're all honed. They look really good. Now this little ridge up top, that's totally normal. That's where the pistons um, don't go up into. That's basically where the ring stops. So that's totally normal. You can ask any machine shop. If you don't believe me, just go ahead and ask them. But uh, that ridge up top is totally normal. So now that we've done that, it's gonna need washed again because metal shavings got down in the bottom and we don't want them circulating through the engine but I can pressure wash that real quick, no big deal. And then uh, in the next video, I'll be pulling the engine out of the car, 
getting the pistons and rods attached and dropping them in here. So definitely stay tuned because that next video is coming out shortly after this one. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, drop a comment below, and uh, let me know what you guys think. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.